Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about what drugstore brand I think does it best. So this was a concept that I first saw from Emily Noel, so I will link her video down below, but I just thought this would be a really fun one to do on my own. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to look at each different makeup category and decide what drugstore brand just really does a great job with their products. The first category we were looking at was primer. And this one was kind of hard because there are some brands that I think are great in all those different categories. I almost said Milani for this one because they have a really great primer selection. But I ended up going with e.l.f. because they have the Poreless Putty Primer. They have those primers in the little pump. Those, those are pretty good too. I really like this though. And I also almost said NYX because they have such a range of primers for different skin types. But this is the one I really <laughs> clearly love the most. So I really went with this one. I just think this is a very good product. I think this is the closest to a high-end primer I've ever found, so I really enjoy this. So I had to say all for this category. Next, for foundation, I had to give this one. Originally, I thought Catrice because of their True Skin Foundation, which has just bested all other drugstore foundations for me, but I ended up going with L'Oreal because Catrice has one good foundation, L'Oreal has several. So the 24 hour infallible freshener foundation is phenomenal they have their powder foundation in the same line which even though it is too dry and too matte for me i've heard so many people rave about it from the drugstore um they do have another uh, more dry skin friendly powder foundation and it's wonderful and i think they have that true match serum foundation which i've heard people rave about I haven't tried that one personally, but I think I would like it. I just feel like L'Oreal really gets it right when it comes to foundations. So I definitely had to say L'Oreal for that one. Moving into powder. So powder isn't something I have a ton of, but I also haven't really tried a ton of drugstore powders. I know Maybelline has the Fit Me powder, which I really do like, but I decided to go with CoverGirl on this one. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh. In particular, this is a favorite of mine. This is just a really great translucent pressed powder. I think this is great for setting your makeup. I use this every single day to set my eye primer. I just really like it for that purpose. They have, um, they have a bunch of different pressed powders. This one is my favorite, but Overall, their powders are just really good. They're very lightweight. They're not too heavy. They don't cling. They just look really nice and they don't completely remove any glow you might have going on, especially for the clean fresh. It's just so light that it sets everything down. It takes the tackiness out of the makeup, but it doesn't remove any sort of glow or luminosity you may have had going. So I really do like CoverGirl for powders. And CoverGirl is a brand that I feel like we really don't hear much from anymore, but for powder, I think they're still going strong. Okay, concealers. Huh? This is another one I don't have a ton of from the drugstore. Um, I definitely do have some favorites, but I chose to go with e.l.f. because I really, really like the camo hydrating concealer, but they also have the original with the black cap, and that is, a, a lot of people have said, that that one is a really great dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, which I personally find too dry for me. So I love the hydrating version. I think this is so good. And I love to see from a drugstore brand, um, anytime a drugstore brand comes out with a product and has a hydrating version and a regular or an oily skin version, I love to see that because it just really shows how they're branching out. So I love that. And I think this is such a great concealer. I almost did the CoverGirl True Match, but that one can be a little bit dry. So I chose to go with e.l.f. for this one. And I, I, I stand by that choice. For setting sprays, I am very particular with setting sprays. Setting spray is not something I have a ton of in my collection. And the ones that I have and love are Holy Girls. But there is one drugstore brand that does make a really wonderful setting spray, and that is Catrice, and that is the 
uh, Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I am actively trying to finish this up just because I really love my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, I have an Urban Decay All Nighter around here somewhere. Um, my MAC Fix Plus, I love those, but at the end of the day, I want to finish my Urban Decay and my MAC and just have the Charlotte Tilbury because I like it the most. But as for drugstore setting sprays, this one's fabulous. I've heard good things about Milani, but this one I just really, really like. I love the healthy radiance it gives the skin. I really do think it helps elongate the wear of the makeup and I just in general just really love this setting spray um, I'm just trying to use it up it's a teeny tiny bottle it doesn't really fit anywhere and this is also very refreshing which I like the sprayer on this one is good I have a setting spray from Maybelline the glass skin setting spray and it gives your skin it makes your skin look so 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 glowy but the mister is atrocious so the mister on this is actually pretty good, so I like that. I like that this is very refreshing. It's not really scented. This is just a really good one. Moving into blushes. So for this one, I definitely chose Milani. Milani is obviously a brand that kept popping into my head for several different categories, but blush, um, they kind of ran away with that category. So Milani just has it figured out when it comes to blush. So uh, from them, I have three different ones. I have their Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. This is wonderful. This is a very pigmented cream blush. I really do like this. I think this is excellent. I do find that the drugstore doesn't have a ton of cream products, which is kind of funny because those are very trendy right now. And the drugstore just doesn't seem to have an overabundance of cream products. But Milani did it and they did it well. They also have their baked blushes, which this isn't my favorite formula, but they are really good. I just don't prefer baked products. However, this one's beautiful and a lot of people say these baked formulas are dupes for NARS orgasm. The shade Luminoso is said to be a dupe for NARS orgasm. I had the shade Dolce Pink and I think it's a closer dupe for... For orgasm than luminoso but that's just my opinion this is like a light pink with kind of like a gold sort of a gold shimmer to it it's very 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 pretty I just don't love baked formulas but my favorite blush formula from Milani is their powder blushes I had the shade T Rose I love these so right away they do look a lot like the flower beauty blushes but these are just so pretty I love the shade. I love how they look on the skin. This is just a really, really beautiful, beautiful blush formula. These are all good. Even though I'm not a huge baked product fan, I, I still think these are really great blushes. All three of them are excellent. They all have great pigment, great blendability. I just think Milani just... They figured it out when it came to blush. And then in that same vein, with bronzer, I went with Physicians formula. So this one could have gone either way. Uh, Milani has a great, great bronzer formula as well. Elf has a great formula as well, but the butter bronzer is a classic and I have to say they do it best because this has been around for so long and people love these bronzers. I have tried the Matte Minoy bronzer. I don't like that one. That one pulls way too orange and the fragrance is way too much, but their original butter bronzer is just excellent. Moving in to highlighter, there's not a ton of highlighters at the drugstore that catch my attention. I have heard very good things about Essence highlighters. I do have a single. Uh, it's not the pure nude, but it is like a really nice champagne kind of highlight and it's very, very beautiful. But one of my favorite bronzers of all time is from Revlon. So this is their Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. And you can definitely see mine as well loved. The, the um, chrome pieces are absolutely wearing off. And I, I have loved this and used this so, so, so much. This is just such a beautiful highlight formula. I love how it looks on the skin. I love the way it just kind of blends into everything. I'm not wearing it today, but I kind of wish I was. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. This is one of those products for me that literally lives in on top of my desk in a little organizer because I love it that much. So definitely, definitely think Revlon figured it out when it came to bronzer or when it came to highlight. Okay, 
So the next category I have listed is brows. And this one, at the end of the day, I feel like a brow pencil is a brow pencil. And my very favorite is from CoverGirl. It's the Easy Breezy Brow Pencil. I think it's wonderful. I think it's so good. It's just a pencil. And so then I kind of got thinking about it a little more and what brand tends to really expand on their brow products. And that would have to be NYX. So I've never tried their regular pencil, but I'm sure it's it's fine. It's a pencil. Um, but the NYX Brow Glue is very good. It is very intense for a brow gel. So if, you, if you're not careful, it can kind of ball up in the brows and it is very intense. If you like the laminated brow effect, you'll get that with this if that's what you want. This is an excellent, excellent brow gel. It will hold them in place. But they also have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. So I think, I don't know if any other drugstore brands really have the brow tint pen. I'm sure there are several, but this was the first one that I saw and it's quite good. It's maybe not my absolute favorite, but it's still very good. And to see a drugstore brand have such a range for brow products, I just, for that reason, I think I want to give it to NYX. Mascara. For mascara, I have to go with L'Oreal. So I have long been a fan of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I think that is a wonderful, wonderful mascara. However, it did recently get overtaken. Well, not recently. That one did get overtaken by the Maybelline Falsy Slash Lift Mascara. I think that one's incredible. There is a lot more mascaras from L'Oreal that I prefer to Maybelline. So even though my favorite is from Maybelline, I have to give it to L'Oreal, The Lash Paradise, The Air Volume Mega, which I really enjoy. There's more than that. I just can't remember exactly right off the top of my head, but I definitely think that L'Oreal does mascaras very, very well. I would put Maybelline maybe as a close second, but but L'Oreal definitely has the top spot on those. For eyeshadow palettes, this is not going to be a surprise. I picked ColourPop. So I am a true eyeshadow snob. That is true. I definitely do think um, the higher end brands do it better, save for maybe BH Cosmetics, ColourPop. Um, Morphe's got a pretty decent formula too. They're not drugstore, but they're at Ulta. Um, so I picked That's Taupe. The ones I have sitting on my desk, particularly right now, are That's Taupe, um, Making Moths. I really want to get into Off Melrose a little bit more. And I have the So Very Lovely palette here too. I think this is just really pretty for spring. So I just had these out on my desk, really just using them and making them my daily palettes. Um, that's Taupe in particular has been getting an awful lot of use out of me. I think ColourPop just has a good formula. I mean, once in a while they'll release a palette where the formula is a little bit subpar, but I do have to say that the best affordable eyeshadow brand is definitely ColourPop in my opinion. I think BH makes a really great formula. I've just tried it a lot more from ColourPop. So in my opinion, I do think they do it best. And the very last category is lips. And without a doubt, I didn't even need to think about this one, it's Maybelline. So Maybelline has their Superstay Matte Inks, which some people don't love. I do. I, I think these are incredible. These are just incredibly long-wearing liquid lipsticks, and they, they will be on for a very, very long time. Slightly less long-wearing, but still excellent, are the Superstay Ink Crayons. So this is more like a lip pencil. These are less dry than the Superstay Matte Ink, but you still get a good wear time. Not quite as long, but still pretty long and the color range is so good. They're also coming out with the lip vinyls, which I'm dying to try. They're not yet available to me here in Canada, but as soon as they are, I'm going to test them because I'm sure they're fabulous. Those are supposed to be like the matte ink, but with a shine. I'm so excited. They also have their lifter glosses, which are beautiful. A lot of people believe these are dupe for the Fenty gloss bombs and I would have to agree they have a massive doe foot. They have good coverage. I think they're a little bit thicker than the gloss bomb in my opinion but I still think these are really really great and they also have great lip liners. The Color Sensational um, Shaping Lip Liners. 
this is also very good. So I have to have to give that to Maybelline. There is no question. But that is my list of drugstore brands that I think do it best. Let me know down below what what brands do you think do certain categories the best? I'm so curious to hear. I love knowing um, what everybody's favorite is. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that's it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!